เนตเมลเตสะเพโกเวตาวอรหัตตาวสัมมาสัมปุตตะสะเนตเมลเตสะเพโกเวตาวอรหัตตาวสัมมาสัมปุตตะสะเนตเมลเตสะเพโกเวตาวอรหัตตาวสัมมาสัมปุตตะสะ Our Father, thou art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hello, beautiful enlightened souls. I hope that you are doing well, staying safe and healthy. So, as we step into purpose, as we step into mission, twin flames. I just was guided to share with the divine feminine collective who are at this point in time still struggling from confusion, from heartbreak, from surrendering, from releasing and letting go of your divine masculine. I was disguided to share with you of what I know now that I did not know then, and I pray that this helps you on your journey. So there is so much that happens behind the scenes and in the background, and in the realms that are not seen, and you may think that nothing is happening. Nothing is going right. Nothing is going your way, and that you are just on your own. I just want to let you know, divine feminines, you are not alone. You know we are all here, supporting one another and helping uplift each other to help you on your journey. So. What I did not know then, that I've been awakened and enlightened to where I am now, and to just understand a fuller perspective, is that you have to see things from a higher perspective, and you have to allow God to show you and guide you where you need to be. Once you Realize your fullest potential, and that you are on your soul's growth and your soul's evolution. You will gain a better understanding that it's all about you. Once you shift into that knowledge and that realization, to the point where you do not care. What your divine masculines are up to and are doing, because they will have to face their own journey with God, and God and their angels will align them to the truth and to their higher realization and their higher self, and they will come into alignment with your divine feminines. You are not meant to stay stuck. You are not meant. To not go out there and create the world that you want to see, you want to live in, because you have so much beauty and so much wisdom. You just have to allow it to blossom and come out of you. You have so much potential, and there is just so much that God has in store, just waiting for you to step into your divine power, divine feminines. And as you continue on your journey, as you focus on your truth, your love, your value, God is right there with you, taking care of you and taking care of your divine masculine. So do not worry what they are up to, or who they are with, or what they are doing. You have to focus all of that energy back onto you. Whatever energy that you are putting out into. Uh, someone else externally, bring that all back to you. Center it, ground it within you. Take your power back, and just.
pray and know and trust and release that God has everything in control. And what had helped me as I was going through the journey is the uh, phrase of trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Because divine feminines, you will not understand all of the confusions and all of the chaos that you are going through, that you've gone through. But now that you have a better realization, a better understanding and a better clarity that I never had. I want to share that with you because I know that you will go out there and you will create something wonderful and something beautiful and attract all of that beautiful energies, divine feminine of the Empress energy that you are and stand in your power and balance your energy. You have to balance your sacred union of divine masculine and divine energies within you. Because in a twin flame, deep spiritual connection, God will always, always be a part of it. So you do have to put God first and just trusting God and your angels that everything will work out for you in the highest and greatest sense because God wants the best for you. So have that equilibrium of peace and balance and harmony and love into your life and all of that will be attracted to you. So I hope and pray that this does help you and as God leads and guide me to share more messages to help all of the divine feminines and divine masculines out there because you are stepping into your glory within the next year or so. So we, we, we've got a lot of work to do, but you've really done a lot of work already so far. So keep going, keep doing the great work that you are doing. And I hope this inspires you to live the best life and the best version of you that you can possibly be. Remember, you are never alone. You are always remembered and never forgotten. May you be so grateful to God and blessed so that you can be a blessing to others.